Here's a left subcoracoid dislocation viewed from the side. The humeral head needs to move anteriorly and laterally, which is forwards and outwards to move back into the glenoid fossa. Adduction of the humerus allows the humeral head to lift up onto the rim rather than staying wedged in. Retroversion of the scapula moves the whole glenoid rim posteriorly or backwards, freeing up the path of the humeral head, allowing it to move laterally or outwards. Watch how the combination of humeral adduction and scapular retroversion allows the humeral head to lift up onto the glenoid rim, ready to slide across. Here's a left subglenoid dislocation viewed from the front. The humerus has moved up into the zero position for reduction. So for the zero position, we're aiming for external rotation towards neutral, 165 degrees abduction and a 45 degrees forward angle. For scapular manipulation, instead of moving the humerus to roll the head around the glenoid rim, we're going to actively move the scapula. This will move the rim around a fixed humeral head. So fix the humerus with traction and then retrovert the scapula to move that glenoid rim around the humeral head.